Well, good morning, everyone. Glad to see you here for another video. We're at the off-grid property today. 80 acres of off-grid, just mountainside. <laughs> So in this video, I'll give you a little update. We're gonna move the A-liner to my favorite spot on the property that I call the clearing. It's a beautiful flat space with awesome trees. So let's get this thing packed up, loaded up, and move it to its final destination on the off-grid property. Thing with the Suburban today because I don't have a rear bumper and hitch on the Gladiator yet. Alright, got it hooked up. Square up, come through here. I just cut these here. Brian and I cut this trail out to the clearing. So that's fun. Brian helped me with that before we cut or he did anything at his property. Haha, <laughs> riding on it. <laughs> that's fun. Whoa, we got a little flexy there. Looking good. Well, I don't know. Feels good. <laughs> Woohoo! My favorite spot of the off grid property. trailer all wedged in here crazy spot but should provide a lot of shade during the day and uh, it's really cool if you look over here too you'll see tons of flat spot I mean we could fit seven or eight rigs right here for all my buddies to camp and I'm all nice and out of the way so let's pop it up and see if we hit some branches might have to trim a little nope here this is our trimming Awesome! What, you don't even have to trim? Don't, it, don't even have to trim it! Wow. My new home. Oh! Gotta trim that a little. <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> How about that, huh? How about that, eh? Put those stabilizers down. And... Well, that was a success. Got the A-liner right here. So stoked. Ah. Love this too. I like you just walk out underneath this branch and the branch is like perfectly right above your head. That was the sticker off the Dodrum Hall. I managed to peel it and stick it on here good enough to where it's staying. That's pretty fun, huh? Got this amazing tree for shade underneath i mean look at all this shade you guys and we didn't even cut out any of this tree so yeah i'm really stoked to just have it socked into the trees we got it in through here obviously like you saw and so this can be kind of like my parking spot can pull the jeep up in here and then back out and pull it out there easy enough but i just love this open area that we've got for friends to stay beautiful view of our little cliff and mountains over there and so excited this is a big moment for me to get the trailer here uh, again this is kind of my favorite spot on the property as far as living camping chilling um, but it doesn't have a huge it's one of the spots on the property that's actually socked in so much that there aren't a lot of views which I kind of like because it makes you walk out to the views and keeps you moving around rather than just sitting at camp in the one spot. One of the more annoying pesky things about this place is it is a ranch. So we got cow pies and they're all over and they don't really smell, but they bring flies. So I'm just going to scoop this area out. Eventually we need to get 
fence around the property, but not really fence, more just like cow barriers, which we can build with down trees and rocks, we've realized. So yeah, that'll be fun. Oh, this one's got some mushrooms in it. Look at those shrooms. Whoa. Gold ones, cool. So check out some of the things that we found on the property. Um, every time we see metal and rusted metal, not sure what this was, maybe a sign. We always pick it up. So we found this with the little loop on top, which is neat. That maybe top of a can or a coffee kettle or something. Just your standard cans, but old, old cans. Um, I have one down there that's like an old menthol chew tin, which is kind of cool. All this different glass, um, ceramics, like pots and stuff. The coolest thing though, whatever this is, we found a few different pieces here. And this says Ranch 80. <laughs> We found this and we're like, no way, man. Like we have a ranch that's 80 acres. <laughs> I don't know, coinky dink. Um, anyways, yeah, so we're trying to like find all the pieces that go on this. I found a lot, really fun. Got a couple of my barrels over here just temporarily. Those are 55 gallon drums that I got for storage. So there's extra camp gear and actually RC car projects that I'll pick up in a year or two or something. <laughs> but uh, the 55 gallon drums I've found have been a really, really great way to store stuff at the property and keep it dry, keep it weatherproof um, and just overall not exposed to the elements. So I'll show you guys these real quick. They've got these, uh, oh yeah, I gotta push that in. They've got these clamp rings around them. And that's my RC car one. <laughs> and uh, that's about it. Put those down, get the ring up on top, clamp it down. So these are food grade containers. Um, this one's a little bit different. You pull that latch up, but same thing. Food grade containers, they actually had silicone in them, um, sealant, as you can see here. And so these guys basically take it from these drums and put it in caulking tubes, and they don't need these barrels in the end. So I got them for about 15, 20 bucks each, and I don't know, I think these things are gonna last forever. Um, when I do have a shed and other storage options and I'm taking stuff out of those and putting it in there, we can use those for trash. We can use those for a fire pit. Another thing I wanna do is put like a camp stove and camp kitchen all in them and hike one way down to like the game trail down there and have a kitchen set up to where we could just bring the meat and bring the food in, hike down and go cook on the trail somewhere without being a hassle. Well, thanks for checking out this property update. Oh, and the trailer here, I'm beat, but so stoked that it's under all these trees. So anyways, Comment, let me know what you guys think. Hit that like if you enjoyed it. Let's trip that algorithm. Make sure you're subscribed as well so you don't miss the next one. We'll see ya. The only question is, are you down to mob off grid? <laughs>